Welcome. This video will look at how the load plan optimizer in S4 HANA transportation management can help your business do more optimal load planning, lower transportation cost, and reduce the carbon footprint by simply needing fewer truck loads. Let us focus on some of the benefits of using the load plan optimizer in S4 HANA transportation management. The load plan optimizer reduces freight costs through optimal capacity utilization, requiring fewer trucks and reducing the carbon footprint. The load plan optimizer provides an optimized loading sequence, for instance, last in, first out, allowing freight to move on and off efficiently. The optimized load plan reduces the risk of damages due to fewer moves and more compliant loading. Let us explain two essential keywords. In automatic load planning, also known as load optimization, the load optimizer creates a load plan for your business document. When it does so, it takes into account capacity restrictions in terms of the height, width, and length of the loading space as well as the weight. For vehicle resources with two axle groups, it also takes into account the maximum axle load. The load plan is the result of load planning. It provides you with a recommendation on how you should use the loading space available. The load plan contains the following information, resource, item in the resource, loading sequence, row, stack, and level in the loading space, gross weight height, width, and length. And lastly, stackability. Both freight order creation and load plan usually are fully automated processes that require no manual interaction. The same goes for relevant follow-up activities such as creating delivery proposals or sending loading instructions. In our example, we have three customers placing two orders each. In total, they have ordered a good combination of crates, cartons and cylindrical kegs. It represents three consignments. With the help of one truck, we will plan a milk run, leaving our distribution center, performing the deliveries and eventually returning to our DC. Before we go, we should have the perfect load plan laid out. The six sales orders have already been created. We will therefore perform all activities in this demo through the Transportation Cockpit app in S4 HANA Transportation Management. In the upper left corner, we can see our six sales orders as freight requirements, with a total of six freight units. These are the planable units in Transportation Management. Before we move on, we will quickly have a look at each of the six sales orders. The two first orders are for our customer part company and contain considerable amounts of different crates, boxes and even a keg. The two next orders are for fifth company and contain a similar amount of different crates, boxes and kegs. And finally, we have two orders for high company. A slightly lower volume, but still a mix of different crates and boxes. We will then mark the freight units and run the optimizer. This optimization process will consolidate them into one consolidated freight order. As soon as we have saved the planning result, a new freight order becomes visible in the upper right corner. In the lower right corner, we can see different details of the order. For a better visibility, we maximize this window. In the Overview tab, we get an overview of the different drop-off locations, including the starting and ending points at our DC. In the Stages tab, more details on the distance and duration for each stage are available. On the Map Display tab, we can get an overview of the route. We may even switch to a Gantt chart. Since we want to focus on the load plan, let's switch to the load plan tab. A load plan has already been created. The colors in the 3D overview represent the three unloading locations in a reverse loading sequence when the goods are loaded from the rear end. Under the load distribution tab, we can see load utilization in total, but also per axle group. As we can see, both through the yellow color of the axle but also in the list view, we are close to the total capacity. Under statistics, we can see the number of items loaded, the number of occupied pallet positions, the used floor space in square meters, the used volume in cubic meters and finally, the used loading meters. All the metrics can also be displayed with imperial units, controllable in the user profile. 
As long as our load plan is not fixed, you are free to clear it completely. And then recreate it. The load plan is very detailed. We would typically not recommend you to export the data into Excel. That is, however possible, and provide you with an Excel sheet with all the details of the load plan. Back in the regular cockpit overview, we save the current load plan. From here, we can trigger the creation of delivery proposals based on the load plan of the freight order. If we open the freight order, we can also trigger follow-up activities from here. This includes delivery creation, sending and cancellation of loading instructions. Loading instructions are used in the warehouse to secure proper loading according to the load plan. Let us recap some of the benefits of using the load plan optimizer in S4 HANA transportation management. The load plan optimizer reduces freight costs through optimal capacity utilization, requiring fewer trucks and reducing the carbon footprint. The load plan optimizer provides an optimized loading sequence, for instance, last in, first out, allowing freight to move on and off efficiently. The optimized load plan reduces the risk of damages due to fewer moves and more compliant loading. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.